Hello everyone, this is Kaiba, Head, Heart, and Soul. Devils of Freedom, who are destroying the United States, had three plans to remove Trump. Especially today, I'm wearing the shades, the sunglasses, because we sometimes have to hide the eyes of truth. Plan number one, they tried to get rid of Trump by the mainstream media propaganda. However, the wise Americans were not fooled. Plan number two, they try to erase Trump through law. However, by the wise judiciary, Trump was able to win victory. Plan number three, the final step is removal by assassination. Trump also got shot in his chest, but he survived because of the bulletproof jacket. He even got shot in his head, but he survived because he turned his head. Trump got help from God. His life was spared. However, upon the failure of assassination, there is one more thing in the plan number three. It is to start war and disaster. Americans and the whole world should now beware of war and various disasters. There was a person who saw the assassin with gun in his shoulder going up the roof. And that person even notified it to the on-spot bodyguards. But strangely, they did not immediately stop the assassin. They didn't even put a stop to Trump's speech. The chief of the Secret Service and the chief of the FBI must be investigated. The Secret Service was aware of where the assassin was. The guard sniper was keeping his eyes upon the assassin. It was only after the assassin's shooting that the guard sniper shot and killed the assassin. It was the only second floor building which was 150 meters away from Trump's platform. However, the guards did not secure that building. The guards who had intimacy with Trump did the close range guarding. Wider range guarding was done by the Secret Service. An assassin with a rifle was on the roof nearby the former president giving a speech and the guards did not stop it. This was not guard failure. The guard was not done on purpose. The guard sniper found out the assassin and fixed the target for more than three minutes on the assassin and contacted the captain through the radio. However, the captain told not to shoot the assassin. But the on-site guard sniper immediately shot and killed the assassin as soon as the assassin fired the shot towards Trump. I am particularly suspicious of this man. This man's body language, his footsteps, tell that he knew about all this incident from the very beginning. It's the footsteps of disappointment that the assassin went into failure. This man should be thoroughly investigated. Thank you for your donation, Luke and Ralph Foe. I will use it for a good purpose. God bless the United States and Trump. This is Kaiva, and see you in the next video. God bless you.